Gold is one of the most valuable metals in the world. Only 20% of all the gold present on Earth has been extracted, and it is estimated that, of this percentage, around 190,000 tons of gold are in the form of bars. Obtaining it is not easy at all. To extract just one gram of gold, more than 30 tons of Earth must be processed. But how is gold actually obtained? How are tons of ore transformed into those famous golden bars? Well, today we will travel to Switzerland, home to the largest gold refinery in the world where thousands of bars are produced every day. There, we will see the entire process that each grain of gold goes through from when it is extracted kilometers underground to becoming those valuable bars worth millions. So, get ready, because today, we are going to discover how thousands of gold bars are transformed. Let's begin. Step number one, gold extraction. The journey begins in gold mines, where enormous excavators are used to release the ore from the earth. Every day, thousands of tons of rock are processed with the aim of obtaining just a few kilos of pure gold. Yes, although it seems incredible, it takes processing up to 30 tons of rock to extract just one gram of gold. Gold is found mixed with other minerals and is obtained through two main methods, open pit mining and underground mining. In open pit mining, gigantic excavating machines and trucks are used to remove large amounts of earth and rock until reaching gold deposits close to the surface. This process allows access to resources more quickly, but also generates a significant impact on the environment. On the other hand, in underground mining, enormous tunnels are dug underground. Workers must operate in extreme conditions and hundreds of meters below the surface. This method is more expensive and risky, but allows the extraction of gold that would otherwise be inaccessible. Once the gold has been located and extracted, enormous trucks transport it to processing plants where the magic of separating the gold from the earth begins. Let's take a look. Step number two, crushing and grinding. Once the ore arrives at the processing plant, the first crucial step begins, crushing. Enormous crushing machines break down the rocks into smaller fragments. These huge machines rotate at high speed, pulverizing the rocks until they are pebble-sized pieces. Afterward, the crushed fragments are passed into giant mills that continue the work, reducing the rock to an extremely fine powder, almost like flour. This dull gray powder doesn't look impressive at first glance, but it's here that the essence of gold resides. Thousands of tiny gold particles trapped in the mixture. Although it doesn't have the golden shine we all know, this powder is key. Each grain of this material contains the potential to transform tons of rock into a small amount of pure gold. It's a step where the effort really starts to show results. Now that the ore is completely ground, it's time to move on to the next step, separating the gold from the rock. Let's take a look. Step number three, gold separation. Now that the ore is reduced to powder, it's time to separate the gold from the other minerals. For this, a chemical process called cyanide leaching is used, a method employed to dissolve the gold and release it from the impurities that surround it. Cyanide, mixed with water, becomes a liquid that may look dirty or ordinary, but it is absolutely essential for extracting the gold from the rock. The cyanide acts like a magnet that attracts the gold particles, dissolving them and separating them from the other materials. Although the resulting liquid may simply look like dirty water, it is actually full of dissolved gold particles. In this state, the gold is invisible, dissolved in the solution, but it is still extremely valuable. With the gold dissolved, the next step is to recover it and turn it into something solid. Let's see it. Step number four, gold recovery. Once the gold has been dissolved in the cyanide solution, it's time to recover it. For this, a process called zinc precipitation is used. In this step, zinc is added to the liquid solution, and the zinc acts like a magnet, attracting the dissolved gold and separating it from the mixture. The result of this process is doré gold, a dull and granular material. Although it doesn't shine like pure gold, it is much purer than the initial mixture and is the basis for the next process. This doré gold, still without its bright luster, will undergo more advanced refining, where the remaining impurities will be removed. Thus, pure gold will be obtained, ready to be transformed into the bars we know and appreciate. Now, with the doré gold ready to be refined, it's time to purify it and give it its characteristic shine. Step number five, gold refining. 
This is where the transformation truly begins. The Dory Gold arrives at the refining plants, where it begins to transform into the pure gold we all know. The first step of refining is fire assay, a process that involves heating the gold to temperatures above 1,000 degrees Celsius. At these high temperatures, the gold melts, allowing the lighter impurities to float to the surface and be removed. But the refining doesn't end there. To achieve the highest purity, an electrolysis process is used, in which the molten gold is submerged in a chemical solution and an electric current is passed through it. This step eliminates any trace of remaining impurities, leaving the gold with an impressive purity, which can reach up to 99.99%. This process ensures that the gold becomes a completely pure metal, with that characteristic shine that we all admire. It is here when the gold reaches its most valuable form and prepares for the next stage, its transformation into bars. Step number six, molding into ingots. After the entire refining process, it's time to transform all this gold into ingots. The refined gold is melted again at extremely high temperatures and then carefully poured into special molds that give it a rectangular shape. This step is crucial to give the gold the form we all recognize as ingots. The resulting ingot weighs around 12.5 kilograms and is marked with a certification stamp, which ensures its purity and origin. This stamp is essential to guarantee its authenticity and its value in the market. At this point, one of these ingots can be worth up to a million dollars or more, so it is crucial to handle them with extreme caution at every stage of the process. Then, the operators meticulously inspect each ingot, ensuring that there are no defects or impurities. They also verify that the weight and purity are correct, guaranteeing that the ingot meets the highest standards. As the gold cools, it takes its solid and shiny form. This is the moment when gold becomes what we all know, a gold ingot. With the final inspection complete, the gold is ready to be stored and distributed to the safest places in the world. Let's take a look. Step number seven, storage and distribution. With the gold ingots ready, it's time to store them in high security vaults. These ingots, now with an impressive value, are kept in extremely protected places, such as central banks or gold vaults in various parts of the world. These sites are fortresses that ensure the gold is completely safe from any threat. To ensure maximum security, the ingots are transported in armored vehicles or, in more special cases, by air transport. Given the high value of the ingots, the transportation process must be extremely careful and protected. Once the ingots reach their final destination, they can be sent to banks, financial institutions, or jewelry stores. Gold can be used to make coins, jewelry, or in many cases for strategic reserves of countries. It is a key resource in the world of investments and the global economy. Each step of the process, from mining to refining and distribution, reveals the incredible complexity and work behind what seems like a simple gold ingot. It is not just a precious metal, it is the result of a history of hard work and precision. To finish, tell us, what surprised you most about this process? Do you own any gold pieces or have any stories related to this precious metal? Leave your opinion in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to discover more fascinating processes.